What's up, you guys? I just want to show you something really cool. I want to show you a quick demo of me incorporating ChatGPT into Telegram. So the main thing that we've done right now is we've incorporated function calling. So if I say I want you to remember something now, you know, ChatGPT can obviously remember a few things, but over time it may forget those specific things. So we have a bunch of tools or functions that we've included, such as get weather. This is the typical example that you'll find in some places getting the AI news. So this is linked to our Koala bot that searches the internet. It looks for all of the top topics in AI, large language models, gets the news and it will give us that news, which we can start incorporating into some article writing tools or create podcasts from it which I'll get to that in just a bit. So the part that handles this is called the save event. So we've got a whole bunch of functions that can handle uh, the different events or reminders that we wanted to remember. So it will save the event, get the event and clear and delete events. And all of these events are stored over here. So I can even uh, add on more over here. They will be incorporated into ChatGPT. So I'm just going to take you through a quick walkthrough on how this actually works and what it can do. I've got my Koala bot over here in Telegram. You can obviously incorporate it into WhatsApp, but you will have to pay for the SIM card, which I'm not willing to do right now because I have to get another SIM card and that's a bit of a hassle. So I'm going to ask it, okay, first of all, let's clear all of my reminders. So it'll go, you can see that the JSON just updated right now in the background and I'll, I'll tell it add on a reminder that that I need to add on function calling for my Panda and Polar apps. So Panda is content generation app and Polar is the podcast generation app that we've automated. Check out the touring test podcast on YouTube, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you're interested in listening to that, it's very realistic. Yeah, we've automated podcasting, which is pretty amazing. So at some point I'm going to be having Polar. So I'll be saying, okay, give me a list of topics on AI, controversial topics, and it'll generate those topics. Then I'll be like, okay, send this one here for processing for podcasting. It'll generate the script. And then from the script, it'll generate into a podcast format, all using the functions that are defined over here in our app. Function calling date is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay, so now it's going to go ahead and populate this in the JSON format. It's done that. I'm going to ask it now for something completely different from reminders. Get me the latest news on large language models. All right. So now it's going to go search all the news on the internet yeah, using Brave. You can use Serpa, you can use SEP API, API. And now it says, okay, it's got all of the news and now it's going to push it to my Koala bot. Right, there we got it. So now it's given this in the format. It's showing me, okay, power your AI projects with new NVIDIA NIMS. All right, it, it also gives me the time. It's basically giving me the recency of the news and yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that is possible because of function calling. It's be, it's able to integrate with all of my different apps that I have over here. And you know, the more functions I have, the more I can automate my business. So if you're definitely interested in learning about this, drop me a link down below, comment on this video, and I'll have a link where you can learn more about it. So yeah, that is just a brief demo. Let me know if you're interested and we'll chat.